Hey everyone, it's Killer King Kevin, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new Corrupted Legends bundle because it is a pretty cool bundle, and I guess you could call it a new type of bundle. Now, whenever Fortnite releases a bundle, they like to take features from, you know, previous skins and just make the whole bundle on that type of skin. Basically, reskinning an outfit in Fortnite to make it look different. So, for example, we've got the Frozen Legends bundle, the Lava Legends bundle, Dark Reflections bundle, and so on. They're basically the same skins we've had in the past, but it looks completely different. And this time, Fortnite is using the Corrupted style from Chapter 2 Season 1, which was for the 8 ball versus scratch skin and adding it to three different skins. So if you take a look at the scratch skin in your locker, you'll be able to use the normal edit style and the corrupted edit style. Now, depending on what level you reached in chapter two, season one, that's how corrupted your skin would be. Now, looking at my skin, I'm not sure exactly what level you needed to be to get the final edit style, but mine is kind of halfway. I'm pretty sure I was level like 150 or 170 or something like that. Not too sure, but this time Fortnite is adding this feature on the three different skins and the best part about it is that they're giving us the ability to change how corrupted you want the skin to be. So, if you want the skin to be fully corrupted, just red and black, or you want it half corrupted, whatever corrupted you want it to your liking, and I feel like that's actually really, really cool. Fortnite is giving us the ability to change how much, like how corrupted you want the skin to be. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised why Fortnite doesn't just add this feature to the actual scratch skin from Chapter 2 Season 1, because I'm pretty sure many people wanted to do that originally. So thanks to Everyday Fortnite, we have the whole bundle in the locker to see how the skins actually look like in game. So the first skin we have is the Corrupted Arachne skin, which is the spider skin, and that's the full Corrupted edit style, and it does look really cool. It kind of reminds me of the Eternal Knight from last season. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was last season, but it kind of looks like that. And the back bling, you can also change all the back blings from Corrupted to non-Corrupted. So that is actually a really cool feature that Fortnite is adding. You have, a, I guess, a scale, and from the scale, you could go from 100 to zero, depending on how corrupted you want your skin to be. So both things are like edit styleable. You can change the back bling or the skin itself. The second skin we have is the corrupted inside skin, and this is the sniper skin uh, we've had in the past. I'm pretty sure it's orange and the male version is blue. Maybe it's the other way around, but that's the inside skin. And once again, you can change from 100 to zero. I think the Arachne skin was better. Um, I th only because it has like the skin itself is a bit like different and more detailed. And then you have the back bling as well. This skin originally didn't have that much detail because it is a sniper, I guess a sniper girl. So that's why I guess the detail is less than the, the spider skin. But once again, you can change the back bling and the skin from zero to a hundred. Super cool feature. The final skin that we have is the Corrupted Shogun, and this skin is super, super cool. I think, uh, like, personally, I like this one the best, and then the Arachne skin, but it just looks amazing on this, I guess, samurai type of skin. Once again, 0 to 100, and the thing about, like, this whole feature is I think it's very similar. Like, they took some parts of the Corrupted skin from the 8 Bow and the Scratch skin, and some parts of the Eternal Knight from last season, and then just, I guess, fused it together to give us this, I guess, corrupted edit style. So that's all the skins and back blinks for the Corrupted Legends bundle, and you will be able to change the corrupted edit style for each skin and back bling. I hope this video does help. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video.